Hello, uh, I'm Ryan, and I'm here to talk about the uh, Manhattan Project and whether um, we should have dropped the bomb or not in Japan. So, the side that I'm taking is uh, that the bombs were not necessary, uh, the civilian casualties were not necessary, but it was the best choice at the time, thinking of the way that um, it ended the conflict immediately. And um, that prevented the most casualties if the bombs had not been dropped. If we had gone to an occupation of Japan or um, the war effort continued uh, and more conflicts spiraled out of control, we could have lost even more lives with that. Um, so dropping the bombs at that time was the the best solution um to end that conflict right there as it was um and then japan was not going to unconditionally surrender at all um and stated that uh emperor hirohito uh, basically would not choose to accept that at all um and even uh, on terms of any surrender who wasn't accepting it uh the japanese people had the um culture of honor and that they were prepared to accept 28 million uh, civilian uh, like soldiers coming in um, for their army to keep on going, basically. And they had civilians prepared to go fight. Um, and they were going to have these civilians fight to their deaths because that was the culture of the Japanese people at the time. And they were going to... That was, that was the way they kept their honor. Um, and on top of that... Um, the Soviets were going to figure out we were making something anyways. The atomic bomb was going to come up, the hydrogen bomb was going to come up, uh, nuclear weapons were going to happen eventually. And uh, seeing our bombing of Japan definitely accelerated the process for them. Uh, they already had spies in the U.S. sending information over. Um, and so that, that was determined to come about. So the dropping of it and accelerating nuclear conflict maybe um, but eventually the Cold War was going to happen, and we would have had nuclear weapons in the first place. It would have worked out. Um, so, ultimately, um, to end the conflict? Absolutely. Um, and yes, it's true that Truman and several members of his cabinet, like, after it, were distressed about it um and the president was distraught about the decision of course he would be um the, making the decision to have that um that's an incredible weight upon a person um so yes the number of casualties in there was awful um but to end the conflict right then and there with that show of force to force an unconditional surrender um, to where we didn't have to have a forced occupation in Japan to have, and we've seen how forced occupations go. Um, you know, modern day Afghanistan. <laughs> you can see it all now. Um, forced occupations don't go well for any country uh, invading it or coming into it. Um, So stopping the conflict right then and there was the best uh, solution overall for the war. Um, and we don't know where it could have gone after that if it didn't. Um, so that show of force was was necessary to do so. Um, so yeah, that's my side on it. Um, have a lovely Christmas break. Peace.